Now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, My Sister, My Frenemy. It's a sister act as the goddess next door and the devilish diva team up in this action-packed Isis series adventure. Get Isis, My Sister, My Frenemy in paperback and e-readers everywhere. One of my viewers wanted to ask me, why isn't the media discussing the increase in autism diagnosis in children of color? Now, the viewer says that a new study from the CDC came out saying that for the first time, black and Hispanic children are outnumbering white youth with autism diagnoses, and they believe that the mainstream media isn't covering this increase in these diagnoses and believe that the mainstream media isn't covering this story. However, on doing my own research, I was able to find several reports discussing this story, and I'm going to share one of them before I answer the viewer's question. A health alert. Recent studies indicate autism is now more common among black and Latino children than white children in the U.S. This is the first time we are seeing a distinction based on race. The CDC estimates that one in 36 children who were eight years old in 2020 had autism, and that is up from one in 44 two years earlier. But the rate rose faster for children of color. However, experts attribute the change to improved screening for the disorder as services for all children with autism improves we're much better and much more aggressive at making the diagnosis so we're on the lookout for that so obviously when you look for something you're going to find it and also remember during the pandemic there was a big pause in making the diagnosis so we were seeing it you know we're seeing it more now kind of catching up if you will Dr. Jen also says it's important for parents to learn about the developmental milestones to watch out for in your child so you can recognize if your child deviates from that and always consult with your physician. Now, I can't speak for the Hispanic community on this issue. However, I believe the reason why the mainstream media isn't talking about this increase in autism cases in black children being higher than that of white children is because the mainstream media fears of calls of racism from the black community. Now, in the past, we had a lot of white female teachers go out here and single out black boys for what they considered to be disruptive behavior. And as they singled out black boys for this alleged disruptive behavior, they would go out here and refer these boys who were as young as seven or eight years old to a counselor and after referring them to the counselor they would go out here and refer that boy and his parents over to a medical specialist who after several tests would say that this boy had ADHD and or even in worse cases say that they had some sort of handicap or disability and based on that diagnosis that boy would be prescribed all of these drugs like the ADHD medicines, or they would even be prescribed other drugs like Risperdal and other drugs like Thorazine. And in the most extreme cases, some of these boys would be considered to have some sort of a disability by these doctors and told that they would need to go out here and get SSI or supplemental security income because they believe that this boy would not be able to function in a workplace once they got into their adult lives. And because many black boys were targeted by these white female teachers, many in the black community oftentimes don't trust the diagnoses of many of these doctors because many black people they fear that if their boy gets this type of diagnosis, it will basically destroy their son's ability to actualize their potential. And in some cases, what happens with these diagnoses is that they are quite suspect because these boys, they basically are, were just boys who were just acting in a natural masculine behavior in a gynocentric environment. And because the teacher, white female teacher, wanted, had a fear of black boys and also wanted to have a smooth world, 
This is why she would target the black boy out of all the children in the room and put them on a road to being on the road to being labeled with a disability when there was no disability at all. No, all the boy really needed was some structure and some discipline, and that would get that boy to be able to behave in a classroom. And this is one of the main reasons why the mainstream media doesn't really want to talk about this whole autism issue and black children getting more diagnoses than white children is because they fear that many black parents will go out here and call many in the media racist. Moreover, they will call many in the academic institutions racist as well because they believe that their children are being profiled and targeted and that's why they won't hold any sort of credibility or credence to these reports from the Center for Disease Control. Now, the Center for Disease Control making this analysis really isn't that objective because that organization's credibility basically was shot with the entire COVID-19 pandemic and the jab. So many people don't really trust any information from that organization as related to black children being having a higher diagnosis of autism than white children because that organization's whole um, credibility is not very strong at this point. And considering the history of, med of science and medicine being used to go out here and stigmatize black children, a lot of people don't trust these institutions and these diagnoses and the whole diagnosis for autism is one that many in the black community might possibly have an issue with because the diagnosis for autism is one that is based on social behaviors and not anything like medicine or blood work so this is very subjective so this whole situation is one that is a powder keg and that's why the mainstream media really isn't covering the story as heavily or in depth as they would. Many in the mainstream media fear being called racist as related to this story. Many in the mainstream media fear that this whole story may be one where they're called racist for saying oh, black children get more autism than white children, and they fear that this whole report may possibly be called out as something done to try to stigmatize and go out here and put black boys on a fast track to being labeled disabled, and that fast track to labeling black boys and black girls disabled could be one to keep them from being able to actualize their potential and go out here and compete in the world because in white supremacist America there are all there are some in the medical establishment that want that don't want to see black children actualize their potential and because they don't want to see children actualize their potential in some cases some believe they will weaponize science similar to what was done with the Tuskegee experiment where black men were deliberately given syphilis and people uh, after their experiences with the education system might believe that this might possibly be what's being done here with these autism statistics so that's the fear that many black people have and that's why the mainstream media possibly doesn't want to cover the story of all of these autism diagnoses moreover a lot of black people again have health issues have issues with the healthcare system and many of the diagnoses there so there's a lot of reasons why the mainstream media possibly isn't covering this story and it has a lot of it has to do with race and a lot of it has to do with people with black people's mistrust of the medical system and the science as related to it so there's a lot of different things here but the main reason is the racism that's why you're not seeing the story covered and you're not seeing the story covered also because the mainstream media doesn't really concern itself too much about black health care because for them black black people's health isn't a priority for them that's not going to get them ratings so this whole story basically isn't one that they consider to be an important one for them 
So this is why you don't see much coverage of this story. They don't really want to upset a lot of the black viewers out here by presenting what they what is deemed to be a racist story, and they don't want to alienate more most of the black people in the audience out there by going out here and saying black children get autism more because that could be misconstrued by black people who have had to deal with the stigmas they've received in the public schools from the white female teachers who fast-track children to special ed, fast-track children to being labeled learning disabled, or even being labeled mentally disabled. This is why many people aren't really saying anything, because, again, if they say something, they could possibly wind up getting people upset in the as related to the um, farce of the, of the minimum of the spectrum, but in the maximum of the spectrum, they fear getting sued because this could be construed as medical discrimination, something black people have suffered for years. So that's the reason why you don't see many people talking about autism in black children because the medical establishment has not really earned the trust of many in the black community. And many of these diagnoses oftentimes are quite suspect. So many in the black community don't trust them and they don't trust them, and that's why the media doesn't cover this story. Now, I hope this answers the question for the viewer who requested this video, and if you want to request a video, you can send a donation to the Cash App by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to pick up some of my books on the SJS Direct imprint, you can find those books on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find them at other online booksellers like Smashwords, the iBook Store, Google Play, and Barnes and & Noble. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, Isis, All That Glitters. The Goddess Next Door takes on a bikini-clad bank robber in this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, All That Glitters, in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.